No one has ever been too good at golf, but Tiger Woods at one point was at least close. When you win your first major as a pro by 12 strokes, win the US Open by 15, then win another on a broken leg, the definition of impressive changes. It's as if you leave yourself nowhere else to go. A dozen years into his career, with 14 majors and millions in the bank, Woods had done pretty much everything in golf. And then one day, he couldn't do anything at all. When Woods headed to the first tee Sunday at the 2019 Masters, he faced a two-stroke deficit to Francesco Molinari. Noteworthy because the 43-year-old Woods had never come from behind to win a major championship. Yet of all the things Woods had to overcome in winning another Masters, this might have been the least significant. Instead, on the first tee, before finding the first fairway, Woods could have thought about how it had been 14 years since he had last won a Masters. When he laid up on the par four third to set up his first birdie of the day, he might have remembered that it had been 11 years since he had won a major. Across the front nine in which he trailed Molinari and had strung together a couple of bogeys, Woods could have been excused if he thought about his incredible fall from grace. Turning into Amen Corner, where he somehow carved a shot out of the trees on the 11th, Woods might have remembered the debilitating string of injuries that had made swinging a golf club next to impossible. By the 12th hole, after three players ahead of him had found the water, Woods had no choice but to contemplate what shot he needed to safely land his ball on the narrow green. But even then, his mind may have wandered to a time when this moment, playing for real on the most important stage in golf, could have only been been relegated to fantasy. It had been just two years earlier when an aching Woods hobbled into the champion's dinner and confided to fellow Masters winners that the pain was just too great, and he was probably done playing golf. But now, here he was, crossing the Hogan Bridge with a chance to take the lead in the Masters. In many ways, the finish at Augusta National on Sunday was vintage Woods the most electric player in golf, making all the shots that counted, then delivering a final emphatic blow with his birdie on the 16th hole. But in reality, this was not Vintage Woods, because this Masters was different. To win this year, Woods didn't have to just navigate the golf course in front of him. In his own mind and to a skeptical public, he had to overcome everything he had hoped to leave behind. This was what you saw when Woods holed out for the win on 18. It was his fifth Masters and his 15th Major. He won by a single stroke, but even factoring in those Majors that he had won by double digits, this was by far his most impressive. Not so long ago, remember, an outcome like this seemed impossible. A golfer whose family life had fallen into disarray who often worried about participating in the lives of his kids, could now walk triumphantly off the golf course and wrap those kids in his arms. Turns out Woods did leave himself somewhere to go. In winning the Masters, he had completed one of the most remarkable journeys in history. From the brink of oblivion, back to the top of his sport.